In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving partial fraction with the Casio calculator in seconds for multiple choice questions. Now, after going through this video, I guarantee you that you will be able to find partial fraction using Casio FPS CG50 calculator in seconds for multiple choice questions. So, ensure you stay with me to the very end of this video. Okay? Alright, so having done that, let's get the Casio calculator now and go into the details of the video. Alright, so this is Casio FPS CG50. Calculator. Now, the very first thing you have to do is to reset it. The essence of resetting it is to put your calculator in the first mode to remove white power with type previous value you might have stored or need. So, to quickly reset it, all you have to do is to navigate to system using this navigation button. When you get a press execute, execute for this calculator stands for equal to. Okay, so when you get a press F5 for reset, then press F6 for next. Okay, then initialize or request. F2 to initialize all, then F1. That's all. It will begin to initialize or particularly the calculator as indicated here. Okay, so we're going to find the partial fraction We're using this Casio calculator is done. Press is it. Okay, now next thing we're going to do will be to store a number on this calculator. We're going to use to find these partial fractions. I recommend you for people to teach because I've worked with you for a very long time and I have not found any error with you. So to really start to here. Under this one, make sure you press the quiz, then press the number press two, press the quiz. Now press this arrow button, hold these steps, guys. Okay, want to store it as X, you press alpha and this plus button, this is for X, then press the quiz. It will indicate that two has been stored as X on this calculator. Okay, we're good to go. Delete everything here, delete all. Alright, so let's begin with question one. Now, the idea behind some partial fraction with the Casio calculator is to simplify or evaluate the question and then simplify or evaluate the options to get the answer okay let's begin with question one is in fraction make use of this fraction button we have 3x upper x okay plus 5 over we have 2x upper x square okay minus 5x upper x Minus three, and does the this place is equals okay minus eleven over five. Or if you want to change this answer to decimal, press is D minus two point two. Okay, right. We're going to simplify the options. Anyone that gives us minus two point two or minus eleven over five will be our answer. It's as simple as that. So let's delete everything here. Delete all. Let's use option A. Is we have this two over okay x alpha x plus 3, then go to this side, you have minus okay, fraction 1 over 2x alpha x okay, minus 1 and that's all, let's play the quiz now no, we got minus 2.2 or minus 11 over 5, now let's check option B, all you have to do is to quickly adjust this here using this button Okay, so the difference is here we have okay, this is correct. Remove this one and put two, then go to this side and remove this two and put one. That's all right here. Now let's press a good button. No, now let's check option C. It has to be option C. Difference is for well, option C, let's adjust this here. Is that here we have okay plus one? Remove this minus and put plus okay. Then at the numerator we have one. Then put here under here we have minus okay. Then numerator we have two. And those are the respect to the quiz. Confirm. So this is exactly what we got. Let me simplify the question. So this is the answer option C. Now let's go to question two. It's as simple as that, guys. Let's delete everything here. Delete all. Okay, all right. Now for question two, we have an infraction. We have five x alpha x. Okay, minus seven. Over, I have in brackets, K 
okay x alpha x minus one all right put the bracket put the power there you make use of the power function then take it the power there is sorry there so that is where is the clips to get the result there we all right right now we're going to simplify the options you know when it gives us three will be our answer okay so let's begin with option a delete everything okay so for option a we have it to be five over in brackets x alpha x plus one close the brackets to the sphere then over to this side you have plus okay we have a fraction minus two okay over in brackets we have it to be x alpha x minus one okay close the brackets that's all for option A. Now let's press the C. Remember we got three. No. Now let's check option B. So what difference there? Difference is in option B. We have let's adjust it here. In option B we have power here. Power here is what three. Alright. And about this side. This is minus not plus okay so that's all for option b let's play the quiz now then we confirm so our answer is what option b it's as simple as that guys but let's check option c and see if we're going to get similar value okay so the difference is here for option c we have we don't have power here so we move this power this two and we have plus here right so we move this minus and put plus okay that's all for option c and let's place is it quit no so ask about option b it's as simple as that guys so there's something interesting for this video if you are new to the channel show you the subscribe button for more videos like this so like share and comment on this video tell me how you feel from what i've learned from this class if you seem to have any specific questions ask feel free to be a question in the comment section below and i'll be sure to give you a response thanks for watching i will see you in my subsequent video